Uh, this is day three of uh, my attempt to get Wayne Gretzky, uh, just mainly through flipping cards here. Uh, what I'm doing right now is, uh, what I'm going to talk about today, as I said, I'm going to try to do something a little bit different every day, is talk about using the, the uh, minimum buy and the maximum buy to try to find uh, um, deals, basically. So I had talked about before about setting up the minimum, the um, the maximum buy now to see if make sure that there is uh, see if there's any sales at low prices. What I do after that is I, I go about a hundred dollars above that. Uh, so right now I think I've got a, at a minimum of six fifty and a maximum of a thousand. And basically, all I'm looking for right now are things like Montreal, Toronto, uh, the Rangers, Pittsburgh, uh, L.A. If it's lower. Um, Detroit. Oh, there was Philadelphia by a thousand. No, I don't think so. Um, but basically, like a, a lot of times, somebody will put up, and like I said, it's, it's all about knowing the value of what you can get back for whatever you're putting up for sale. And uh, sometimes people don't, of course, and sometimes you can kind of jump on that. So hopefully, while I'm doing the video here, uh, I can come across something. Um, but if I don't, it still works, and this this is the way it goes. You, you plug away at it, and sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Okay, I've just gotten to the end uh, of checking through all of them, and there wasn't any, any deals on it. Um, but what I did, like I said, was, of course, got to put that back to change team. Uh, I have set the buy now minimum to the buy now maximum. What it does when you're, when you're doing this is it helps um, weed through uh, you're looking for deals. Um, it makes things a lot faster because, first, like I said, what I did was I uh, set the buy now maximum and had gone through... And I, I think there was only like under the the 600, and went through. So I knew that any of the cards here, I, I'm looking down below for anything that's like more of the uh, the 400 range, like uh, or less, um, unless it was uh, one of the better cards. And then after you do that, you you put the range from like 600 minimum buy now to a thousand uh, minimum buy now, and you know you're not going to have any of those lesser cards, and you you whip through all the ones that. Uh, are the higher, and all you have to do there is is look for those certain teams like your Chicago Blackhawks, Toronto, Montreal, and that sort of thing. So once they get to the high prices back, that are going to get you about two thousand on a resale. Uh, it it really speeds up your searching because you don't have to sit there and look at every price and every card. Because when you're doing the bu the minimum buy now with the maximum buy now, you're only looking for your eye to get caught on certain cards. So that speeds things up. Okay, so like I said. Okay, as you can see, I've, I'm sitting at 19,819 pucks, uh, which is only about 3,000 up from yesterday, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm also, I have about 120 to 130 um, change team consumables now, so averaging about 1,000 pucks per sale, thanks to going between like uh, teams like Toronto, Montreal, down to teams like Carolina. Uh, really, I'm, I'm not as far off as, as it seems like it. Now that I've been building up the last couple of days on cards, we should see the totals jump up. And also to point out that I'm not playing games for it. My record only went up by uh, one loss. I lost the game yesterday 5-4 uh, um, because of my stupid gameplay. Anyway, uh, we'll see you day four.